there's almost a slowing of time in Yosemite in the winter. It's the dawning of another day in Yosemite National Park in California's Sierra. It's a time when the sun splashes the walls of the mountains and the forest floor breathes in the light of a new day. Winter in Yosemite is a special time. This is also a special place when it comes to understanding global climate change. This park sprawls over 1,200 square miles, and even though more than 3.5 million people visit here every year, 95% of the park isn't regularly accessed by the public. The impact of climate change was expected to be buffered here, but it's here where scientists have noticed many species of animals and plants moving from lower elevations to upper elevations to escape a gradually warmer environment. When we look at a model of climate as it is now, it is very difficult to reach the kinds of patterns we're having today without adding some sort of anthrop anthropogenic or human-caused factors. Hundreds of miles away and thousands of feet down, the ocean is also getting attention. You can feel, there we are, I mean that, there we are, that gives you an idea. As ice melts near the poles, many scientists are expecting sea levels to rise. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change recently predicted sea level will rise between 7 and 23 inches by the year 2100. And sometime over the next thousand years, today's coastlines could disappear with a sea level up to 12 feet higher. If we wait another 20 years and don't do much, um, it, the effects may be irreversible. The latest IPCC report is criticized by many for being too severe. Others say it doesn't go far enough. Former Vice President Al Gore addressed the debate at a recent stop in Santa Barbara. I guess there's still some politicians who will hang on to that 1% and think the earth is still flat, but uh, the rest of the people all over the world, I think, are now pretty close to the point where they're saying, okay, enough uh, equivocating, we've got to act, do what we need to do and solve this. The most sobering aspect is the report's conclusion, if we stopped introducing more greenhouse gases into the air tomorrow, it may already be too late. We likely have already reached the point where the challenge may not be slowing climate change, rather finding ways to adapt to a changing Earth. If the scientists are right, those of us near the coast could be a lot like the plants and animals scientists discovered in Yosemite. We too could be heading for higher ground.